Hello everyone, I'm Hannah Ashabar from Frequencies and Femto Estate Laboratory. Today I would like to present my work putting on growth of textured aluminium films on a lithium nuclei piezo electric substrate with the ultra thin tantalium underlayer. The application is textured as follows. I will begin by an introduction, next a literature review, experimentation, then a result and conclusion, and finally a conclusion and the future studies. So first of all, I would like to give you an overview about working principle of surface acoustic wave, a saw device. So a saw device composed of 200 digital transducer IDTs, the input IDT and the output IDT, placed on a piezoelectric substrate. So when a voltage is applied across two electrodes in the input IDT, an electric field is produced that generates an elastic wave by the inverse piezoelectric effects. When an output IDT receives this wave, they convert the mechanical energy to an electrical signal by the direct piezoelectric effects. So this will make to the soft feature to find application in the line, resonators, and the filters. In our studies, we are going to interest it by the soft features made in by the aluminum copper electrode and the lithium based piezoelectric substrate. The first order relation of the frequency is the velocity of the saw in a piezoelectric substrate divided by the wavelength. And the wavelength is a five times the, the, wave, the electric wave. So this shows that the operating frequency of the saw features is related to the dimension of the electrode. In general, these devices are intended to resolve the 5G problems. In this context, the soft features have to increase their operating frequency, that's by the reduction of the electrode. Expect the miniaturization in a higher frequency produce a higher current density in the electrodes. Well, that generate some aging phenomena which degrade the aluminum copper electrode and limit the lifetime of the soft features. The degradation of the aluminium copper electrode is due to the migration of the aluminium along the ground boundary, forming a void and the helix like uh, extrusion, as we can show in this figure here. So this aging phenomenon is called electromigration. The aim of this work is to reduce the ground boundary in the aluminium copper electrode and improve the electromigration resistance and uh, subsequently keeping the sole filter characteristic. Great effort have been made to suppress the electromigration in IDTs, that's by immersion of the aluminum copper structure and the texture quality. And uh, some research have suggested that an aluminum copper textured on 111 orientation can be developed irrespective of the substrate material and its carbon. That's by using an end layer between the aluminum copper electrode and the lithium based substrate. As we can show in this figure here, presenting the XRID diffraction of the aluminum copper with uh, aluminum copper electrode with uh, different thickness of tantalium and the layer, and in the right, presenting the full white hard medium of the aluminum copper 111 peak obtained by the Reckon cube. So for, so, for the aluminum copper without the under layer, uh, this peak have a height full white hard medium, uh, the, the height full white hard medium values. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, demonstrates an inferior quality of the, the, of the, an inferior structure quality. But with answering a 2 nanometer of tantalium underlayer, this values decrease from a 10 degree to a 2.09 degree. That uh, this case is also for 5 and 10 nanometer of tantalium underlayer. So that means with a neutrophil underlayer of uh, titan, we obtain an aluminium copper films with a large grain size and with a less of uh, the less grain boundary. But the, the, this uh, structure and the texture quality decrease grandly as the underlayer as uh, the, the thickness of the underlayer increase. It's noted that to obtain an aluminium copper film textured 111 on a metal underlayer, which should be in a certain uh, in, in a certain thickness range. So to determine the impact of a leutrophine underlayer on a soft filter performance, some analyze of the morphology of an aluminium copper films deposited on a zero and the two nanometer of tantalium underlayer are checked before and after a power durability test. So uh, in this case, we obtain an overview difference between the two electrodes. And also, uh, studies of the commutative distribution of the values for time of uh, for the aluminium copper films 
with a zero and um, and the ten and the twenty nanometer and the two nanometer of total of titan are uh, two are tested. So for the studies, we uh, obtained that the lifetime of the aluminum copper electrode with a titan underlayer, ultrafin underlayer, is uh, five is uh, seven times longer than those without. So to obtain a good the power durability and the thin dimension control, we should. Uh, we should to improve the crystalline quality of the aluminum copper spheres. So the question is, how an ultrafin underlayer can be improved the crystalline quality of the aluminum copper films and then improve the electromigration, uh, its electromigration resistance? This can be explained by the surface interface energy balance between the substrate and the films. Because this uh, surface interface energy balance uh, can be, uh, can determine the growth mode of the aluminum copper films in a lithium nucleate substrate. So in general, we have two kinds of the growth mode: the Volmer Weber mode or island growth mode, that happen when the free surface energy of the substrate is uh, inferior to the free surface energy of the films. Uh, and that results the film with a with a thin randomly oriented currents uh, with a thin randomly oriented currents. In the opposite case, when a free surface energy of the substrate is uh, superior than the free surface energy of the metal, so the film grow layer by layer, and we obtain a film with a large current oriented in a single direction. When uh, aluminum copper is deposited directly on a, on a lithium nubate, the condition of the, the Volmer Weber is satisfied, and we obtain an aluminum copper film poorly textured and with a lot of the ground boundaries. So, so the island ground mode can be transformed to the layer by layer ground mode, that's by using an ultrafin and a layer. Because the presence of a neutrophin underlayer with a higher higher free surface energy on a, uh, of the higher free surface energy can improve the free surface energy of the lithium nucleate substrate. And in this case, we can obtain uh, an aluminium copper films highly textured and with a less gram profile. So the aim of this work is to improve the free surface energy of the lithium new base by using an underlayer, a tantalium, tantalium underlayer, and then obtain uh, an, an aluminium copper films growth by the layer by layer growth mode and with the higher texture, texture and higher texture. So to determine the impacts of the presence of a neutrophin underlayer and to the and to the surface of the lithium nucleate substrate, we're gonna do the quantitative analysis of the free surface energy of the lithium nucleate substrate and the lithium nucleate substrate with 1.3, 5, and 20 nanometer of tantalium underlayer. So the free so to determine the free surface energy of the substrate, we will measure the contact angle between the substrate and uh, some uh, test liquids to whose the surface tension, including their polar and dispersive parts, are known. And finally, an additional X-ray studies will be made on a, will be made on aluminium copper films deposited directly on a lithium nucleate and aluminium copper films deposited on a lithium nucleate in presence of 1.3 nanometer of tantalium underlayer. That's for uh, evaluated uh, the crystal the crystalline structure of the aluminium copper films. So the contact angle measured and the dispersive and the polar liquid surface tension are used to determine the free surface energy of the substrate based on uh, mathematical unwanted models. Uh, this uh, this model is con uh, this model considers the geometrical means of the dispersive and the polar parts of the surface tension liquid and the, and the substrate free surface energy. When we substitute in this expression in a Young equation, a linear equation of the type y equal y equal i x plus b can be obtained. And uh, y and x contain the known uh, quantities as the contact angle and the polar and dispersive uh, liquids, uh, liquid surface tension. So we can plot the y is function of x and extrapolate the slope a and the y intersects b. And to calculate the, the, the polar 
and to calculate the slope a to calculate the polar dispersive the polar uh, surface tension of the uh, surface tension of the leak of the substrate of the substrate and uh, the y intercepts to determine the the dispersive uh, part of the free surface energy of the substrate and uh, finally to determine the free surface energy uh, the, the final the final values of the free surface energy so to determine the free surface energy of the lithium ion base and the lithium ion base with 1.35 and 20 nanometer of tantalium under layer we plot the abscissa y as function of ordinate x uh, calculated for each measurement and we extrapolate the slope A and B uh, to calculate uh, to get the uh, final values of uh, the final values of the, 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 the free surface energy of our substrate. So uh, this so uh, we have so uh, we have uh, found we have uh, found that the free surface energy of the lithium ion base increased from 47.09 to a 50.10 with a 1.3 nanometer of tantalium underlayer, and this value is decreased from a 46.43 nanometer with a uh, uh, millijoule per uh, uh, square meter with a 10 nanometer of uh, of tantalium underlayer. So this values confirm that the addition of a neutrophil and the layer of tantalium increase the free surface energy of the lithium ion base substrate. So we suppose that this configuration promotes the quasi frank van der Merf mode, grow mode, and this improves the texture, uh, the texture and the structure of the aluminium copper films. That will be evaluated by XYD diffraction analysis. So this crystal structure of the aluminium copper sphere is deposited directly on a lithium ion base and the aluminium copper sphere is deposited on a lithium ion base with 1.3 nanometer of tantalium under layer was studied by the X-ray. So we can clearly see that the, the only one black peak appear at, um, appear at 38 degrees, which corresponds to the aluminium copper 111 plane. So the presence of only aluminium copper 111 without other peak would demonstrate that the aluminium copper films 111 is, uh, is developed on a lithium, uh, the aluminium copper textured 111 is developed on a lithium new base substrate. But in presence of 1.3 nanometer of tantalium and the layer, this peak uh, become a little less border. But in this present uh, experiment, we have not been able to determine if uh, the, the if the 1.3 nanometer of tantalium improve really the crystalline quality of the aluminium coppers. For this, we have made a similar treatment. So the structure of the aluminium copper films grown on 1.3 nanometer of tantalium and the layer will be stabilized by the thermal treatment uh, in in air at uh, in atmosphere at uh, five at, at 523 and uh, 623 Kelvin. So uh, the full white half medium of the aluminium copper 111 peak. Uh, decrease uh, decrease sharply after the heat treatment, and uh, that's result uh, that as a result uh, an increase of the grain size of the aluminium copper films from uh, 43 uh, 48 49 uh, nanometer. So this will reduce the grain boundary in the aluminium copper films. So. Uh, we suppose that the crystalline quality of the aluminium copper films with the tantalium under layer and the heat treatment is, uh, better, is better than without. So to conclude, uh, so, uh, so in uh, conclusion, the presence of 1.3 nanometer of tantalium under layer and to the lithium ion base surface increase the free surface energy. And the 1.3 and the aluminium coppers deposited on 1.3 nanometer of tantalium under layer seem to be the best configuration to en uh, en uh, enhance it, the f enhance it, the, the Frank van der Merck mode in aluminium copper stream growth, and that will reduce the grain boundary and subsequently improve the resistance to the electron migration phenomenon. The 1.3 tantalium under layer and the heat treatment.
at uh, 523 and 623 Kelvin improved the texture and the, the texture and the structure quality of the aluminum copper spheres. In for the further studies were further analyzed of the crystalline structure of the aluminum copper films, XRD and the residue uh, and the residual stress analyzed are enjoined in order to determine the effects of tantalium and the layer. So in the next of our work, we are planning to do some aging tests to evaluate if the structure advantage provided by 1.3 nanometer of the of the of the tantalium and the layer and the heat treatment could improve the electromigration resistance and keeping the soft filter characteristic. Thank you for your attention.